Well, this time, we're going to mix things up by discussing primary immunodeficiencies that affect both B and T cells. First, let's set the scene. Welcome to the small town of Deficiency, Maine. School is finally out for the summer. And the primary school kids we met in the last sketch are hitting up the local comic book shop to check out the new issues. One thing they can't escape from, though, even during the carefree months of summer, is the continuous torment by the skid gang. One of the bullies has already knocked over poor Braden here. Let his crutches represent immunodeficiency. Specifically, the two comic books thrown to the ground with pictures of a white B-cell antibody archer and T-cell knight emphasize a mixed B and T-cell deficiency. Really quick, though, before we discuss the first disease. Remember back to the last day of school and the audience members at the school play. Primary immunodeficiencies, including the ones we're about to encounter out on this small town street, share some similar traits including an increased susceptibility to infections, a paradoxically increased susceptibility to autoimmune disease, and a surprisingly increased susceptibility to cancers, especially lymphoma. Apparently the immune system is really important for cancer surveillance. Who knew? And on that note, let's catch up with Braden's pal Al, who's hiding out in the diner to escape the torment of the bullies. Knowing that Al is deathly allergic to wasp stings, they hit that wasp's nest right as he was walking by. The wasps are for Wiscott-Aldrich syndrome, an X-linked recessive disease characterized by the triad of thrombocytopenia, eczema, and combined B and T-cell immunodeficiency. Al is hiding, receding, if you will, from the wasps behind the X on the door to emphasize X-linked recessive. Remember, X-linked recessive means it pretty much only shows up in male patients. To represent eczema, let's cover Al in eczematous-looking wasp stings. And thrombocytopenia is down here in the street where, falling out of that knocked-over trash can, we can see some broken platelet plates. Remember that we saw Al back in the platelet dysfunction sketch of the hematology unit. Bleeding occurs in 80% of infants with Wiscott-Aldrich syndrome, though the severity depends on the degree of thrombocytopenia. Those with higher platelet counts may only have mild bleeding, such as petechial rash or epistaxis. However, those with severe thrombocytopenia may have life-threatening GI or intracranial bleeding.